NVIDIA's most recent release is the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. It was released on May 31st, 2021. The graphics card is only one step below the flagship RTX 3090. It has 12GB of GDDR6X RAM and consumes 350 watt of power. According to reviews, the RTX 3080 Ti delivers RTX 3090 level of performance while being the same size as the RTX 3080. Welcome to Crypto Cage. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this. And be sure to watch this video till the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Without further ado, let's get started. The RTX 3080 Ti is an LHR GPU by nature. You may encounter issues where you need to be picky with your mining software and jump through some hoops to achieve optimal efficiency. Now normally I'll talk about where to buy this GPU and what the profitability is. But this time let's mix it up a bit and go over setting up this GPU and mining with it first so we can see the results of the profitability later. This way, you'll be able to understand where the numbers are coming from and what it takes to mine at that level. The one that I'll be using for this video is a 3080 Ti that was sent to me by gun. I'm connecting it to my test bench with a single cable from the power supply and some splitters, which is not the way I recommend for mining 24 hours a day on these cards. The safer way to power them, especially if you are mining on a core-intensive algorithm like Kapow, is to connect two PSU cables to 3080 Ti or three PSU cables. Now that we have the GPU on the test bench, let's go ahead and start testing. The first step is to download the appropriate drivers. Now we'll run these tests in Windows first, and then I'll go over them briefly in Hives. The coins I'll be looking at are Ethereum, Ergo, and Flux. Now I'll give you guys the stock settings compared to the efficient settings, and then you guys can go ahead and use the overclock setting. And just remember, overclock settings can vary from cart to cart, so if you try to use my settings and you keep on crashing, then just try to tweak the numbers just slightly to reduce some memory, clock, or increase your power limit and then you should be good to go. Usually I'll try to give base settings when you can run them and mine Ethereum, and you can also see the temperatures on the right side. So for the temperatures, we are setting around 60 degrees for the core temperature, and then for the memory, it's going up to 100 degrees. Now, this is getting hot, so overclocking this card is very important if you're planning on mining with it. Now that you have seen the stock settings results, let's go ahead and overclock it, and then start mining with the overclock setting that I have. You can see that we are getting about 84 to 85 mega hash, and we are using 315 watts from the wall, so we have gained a small boost in the mega hash as well as reducing the power by a little bit. And finally, the best thing is that we reduce our temperatures by about 20 degrees, so that does make a big difference. And it's going to be useful, especially if you have a lot of these mining. That is it for ETH. Let's go ahead and move on to Ergo. For mining Ergo, I'll also be using TRX Miner. And if we go ahead and run it in stock settings, we'll be getting about 226 mega hash and we'll be using 315 watts. Then, for overclocking, we are using the same settings that I've used for mining Ethereum. That is because it's also a memory intensive algorithm, so you will need to max out your memory clock. Mining flux is a little different than Ergo and Ethereum because the flux is core intensive. So, Nvidia cards in general will perform very well here, but you'll be using a lot more power, just like you would be mining Ravencoin. And one thing you want to keep in mind when mining Flux is that you want to make sure you use the right mining software with the tax. If you are going to mine Flux with your 3080 Ti's, I do recommend using the Mini Z Miner. If not, you'll be seeing up to 50% less hash rate. So, if we go ahead and run it in stock settings, we'll be getting about 105 to 107 solutions per seconds. So, after we go ahead and set up our settings, I am getting around 101 solutions per second and using only 300 watt. So it did become about 70 watts more efficient, which means generally your temperatures will go down with it. Now that is all the testing for the three coins that are most profitable to mine with this GPU. Now let's talk about profitability and how much money you can make with the numbers we just went over. But before we do that, I'd like to briefly discuss BIOS modding and the thermal pads on the 3080 Titans. Here's a way right now where you can BIOS mod your 3080 Ti with 3090 BIOS and then from there you'll be able to unlock up to 100 plus hash rate on Ethereum. This doesn't work on every 3080 Ti's so you might break your cart. 
then you have to recover it, but if you do want to try it, you can feel free to go for this. Just please be careful. Just keep in mind that these mining profits change by the day. So you always have to double check and see what the profits are at the time you are watching this video now. I'll have this profitability link in the mining chamber when you go to the 3080 Ti mining settings. If you want to buy new from Newegg, you'll spend about $2,300 plus tax to get the RTX 3080 Ti LHR. Which means that if you want to go ahead and count how long it will take you to break even at the current profits, let's say you make $100 a month. It will take you at least 22 months to break even. And that's if you can buy it at $2,200. It's probably not that appealing a deal to buy an LHR card and mine with it. But if you want one for your PC and one to mine on the side, then it's not a bad deal for you. So that's it for the profitability and prices to buy this card for now. Let me know in the comments below if you have a 3080 Ti and what you are mining with it. And if you don't, are you planning on getting one next? With that being said, that's all for today's video. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Till next time.